you cut. You got to cut to the fine art. Right. Because we need to fuse. Right. And it's, see? it's the close things in life that are finer, you feel. People are running around, running around, running around. Sometimes you need a pit student who's doing fine art and they're a, a, a lot sophomore. of chest hair, like they need to get into it. Taking pictures of themselves, like toenails, eyes, weird stuff. I love it. <laughs> So I asked my mother, uh, I had always wanted to dance and I would seen some African American dancers on a show, on the parade. Yeah. And these dancers were from uh, Dance Theater of Harlem, which is a premier African American ballet company. And I had never seen that. And I said, oh, I went crazy. I said, I want to do that. My mom was like, no. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> You know, she was afraid. Every, you every know? performing artist she has said, this moment with their parents. Hell no. <laughs> but interestingly enough, I had never told my father. And my father was, you know, kind of a rough guy. Yeah, yeah. And he found out. And I was like, oh boy. <laughs> so I thought, oh boy. He came in the kitchen one day and he said, so I hear you've been taking dance classes. Uh oh. I thought, okay, here it goes. Yeah. And I said, yes. And he said, good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and I hate to embarrass you, Byron, but we do have a video of Byron here. Oh. <laughs> and this is that, this is that Fosse. Yes, this was uh, Fosse, the production of Fosse on Broadway, yeah. which we did a taping of. And this is you on the, on the left? Yeah. I think it's important that uh, parents support their kids Absolutely. with their dreams. Even though it's something you don't un quite understand or know much about, people find something that they love to do and throw their selves in it fully, it's gonna take you where you're supposed to land. Yeah, yeah. And I think it will take you to some wonderful places. Follow yeah. your dreams. Yeah. Follow them, man. Yeah. If you find something that you love, you've got to do it. I didn't know that there was a large peacock and llama population in Oregon. Well, the crazy thing is that a peacock, the, the fly-looking peacock is, is the male, and then the women, not, not so, so good. fly. Not so fly. Oh. You know? Yeah. Flamboyant, you're going to go with the male. Right. The same thing is actually for uh, ducks. Humans? And humans. Males look women, and fly. Women need to put on all kinds of stuff. Right. We just, we roll Men's out of bed like, and we look this good. Weird. Okay. Hello. <laughs> right. Girls love when you tell them that you're in a yurt or you lived in a yurt. I found that too. I found that in yeah, Berkeley. Yeah. Yeah. It's strange. What color is that shirt? I would I would say it's a sea foam green. <laughs> it's just nice to hear somebody say sea foam green for someone. <laughs> I it, feel that way as well, man. Everybody yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice to hear people. Let's all right, let's look up sea foam green. We're gonna here. hit up the internet now. How do you feel that we might be from a generation where you, like, somebody mentioned something and we need to look it up on the internet? Well, because, but we were right. I think we would have all agreed that this was seafoam green, when in fact, it's quite a different color. That might not that I don't think I'm wearing seafoam, I may be wearing a lime, a shade of lime. What I do is that I move to college towns and then I exploit um, any Talk resources that they have. Well, I try to sneak into other colleges and like use their library books and yeah. like, um, use their bathroom, stuff like that. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Just like whatever I can do to... Use the amenities of colleges. That's, I mean, basically. I support that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think that's great. This is awesome, That's what Eric. I'm saying. Like... Or just a shot of like a pulsing lymph node. Oh, yeah. But just, you gotta get... Or like pimples, like pusses. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Mm -hmm. 